But um, I want to ask you this question. Sure. What do you think or why do you think people don't really respect females as leaders in kitchens? Um, I think the challenge lies outside of the kitchen. I think the challenge just lies with how women are perceived in general right. about um, the box that they want to put us in in society. Um, it's crazy the disconnect between the home and a commercial kitchen because in the home it is a woman who who does the cooking. You understand? Traditionally that is what is expected and so I'm just I'm so amazed that you know a lot of execs are male. Right. I'm just amazed by that. Once when I realized that that was how it was, I was a little surprised. Mama said, like a man chef, you know, you're young, no, no. Like a male chef, that's weird. Um, but I think it's hard for men to, um, be instructed by women, um, how kitchens are, you know, you have to be a little tough and some men don't respond well to that. And then there are women who don't respond well to that. And, you know, it's really just, it's bigger than the kitchen. It really is. It's hard work. It is hard work. It's very labor intensive and I think that's why some persons are geared more towards men because they feel as if you can they guarantee to get a certain level of output from men or that's what they think. As opposed to a woman they think, well, you know, she don't want to leave this and she don't want to wear the hours and she wanna go home to her kids and whatever. But I know women out there who go ten times harder than men. Definitely, daily. definitely. And I, I believe that too. I believe daily. I don't I don't really look at you know, I've worked with chefs that and, and this is it's sad to say it, but I work with chefs that whenever they're doing interviews and they see, and you know, the pastry shop normally has all women. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And when they see the, it's like a roster of women, it's like they start getting, uh, you know, and sometimes they'll choose the man, the one or two men that are there that are worse than the woman. <laughs> you know what I mean? And one of the things that they, they always say is, because one time I asked the chef and I was like, why you don't want to hire the girl? And he's like, oh, and, and this may be rude for him to say, and I'm going to say it. He said, oh, because mm-hmm. they have their periods. And I'm like, okay, so what I got to do with anything? Oh, they got to always, stay. there's going to be, like he's saying that whenever they have their period, it's going to be mm-hmm. a couple of days out of the week that they have to take off. And I'm like, but That's they get true. a day off at the end of the day. So why are you, I don't understand. I never That's understand that true. concept because I've, yeah. met, I've met not only women chefs, but women in general that work harder than men. A hundred percent of the time. I don't feel like there's any real reason behind it. I feel like the period thing is just an excuse, a justification for, but it's just clear, clear bias. I think that guys tend to click together and that, you know, it's probably just in terms of like vibes and energy or whatever, it's easier to work with a man than it is to work with a woman. Right. Um, I think when people see groups of women, they think that, all right, well, mix up on problems and whatever, whatever. And it's really not like that. It's right. Not, not everybody's like that. There's some, there's some <laughs> women that are like that, but it's not, but it's, it's just, yeah. there's some men who are like that too. I've met a lot of men that they sit down in, in groups and they can talk we, about all types of stuff. Can we not go there? You know what I mean? Talking about women and who they sleeping with. Mix up. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, no, so mix the, up. The stereotyping when oh, women do this and men don't do it. Nah, it's every, we're it's human garbage. beans. It's yeah, garbage. We're human garbage. beings and everybody have personality. You know what I mean? And I don't think you should ever, I personally don't think you should, you should ever, um, Think about think about you know sex when you're sex of a person when you're um when mm-hmm. you're hiring them. It don't I don't make no care. Sense. I don't care. I don't care that you're a woman. I don't care that you're a man. You understand? The same expectations I have of a male chef, I have it as a of a female chef. Um, whatever it is that you know the male chef can do, I expect as a woman you can match his work. There's nothing in that kitchen. My sanitation team. Are all men mm-hmm. and I I have done everything that they have done. I have scrubbed the grills, I have scrubbed the floors, I have mopped, I have swept, I've brought out the four garbage bins, I've washed the pots, I've washed the plates, I've cleaned the walls, I've gone behind the grill and wiped down the wall, I've cleaned the fires, I've done it all. Right. I've done all of it because there's no sex in the kitchen. You understand? When it comes down to food and to flavors and what it takes, of course, it, it, it don't matter. No. You understand? Getting the food out, having the customers satisfied, having the kitchen clean is far more important 
than whether you walk on three legs or two. You understand? Definitely. But I like to prove, you know, and I feel like as a leader, you have to be able to, you have to lead by example. You have to show them that, you know, man, what I'm asking of you is not too high because I can do it. Mm -hmm. You understand? And so I don't care. You want to be a woman, I don't care. But if it means them to carry out my mom, you have to carry them out because of this design of fuck. Right. I will not go call the man to come lift up the bag of flour for us. Yeah. Not to say I'm not struggling, but God help me, me I gotta do it, yeah. <laughs> Everybody needs by help. No car by the crook. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> oh wow. So so what you do you think that would ever change though? You think there's anything that be, can be done to change the perception of of women in um, the kitchen? I feel like it's not as bad as before. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's not as bad as before. I feel like as my generation, because I feel like uh, we are probably the most exposed and the ones that are coming up now. Right. Um, we're, we're a little bit more educated. We are, we understand, we can recognize the and we can rec- rec- recognize by, and, uh, you know, I've spoken to several chefs who are like, they don't care if you're a woman or, or male. They don't care. They just want to know that the work can get done. So I think that slowly it's changing. Right. Slowly it's changing. I think that, Slowly, women are understanding. Um, I don't want to say so. I feel like we've always known. You know, women know that they're there for the hard work and they're putting in the hard work. And eventually, we will get there. Eventually, we will get there. Um, just when we're getting there, I'm not so so sure. But we'll get there. We're getting there slowly. Things things changing. Man. I I, th- I think so too because you know the culture yeah. the culture is changing. I think worldwide. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, in in so many aspects, in 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 not just when it comes to sex, but the appearance. You know what I mean? Because look now, right? You have dreads, right? Before, mm-hmm. I don't think you could go in the kitchen with dreads. No, mm-hmm. you know, and 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 like in America, like you could do whatever you want. You know, I've whatever. seen chef. I've seen chef with with like fully tattooed neck, everything. Yeah. And 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 these people are celebrated. You know what I mean? But in our culture, nice. it's not celebrated, you know, but I yeah. think it will get there. Just like people oh, are going to sure. get past the phase of, OK, yeah, so she's a chef. You know, it's like it's the same thing like not before. If you're a skinny chef, they would say, oh, I don't I don't trust you. Oh, I can't trust you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But now a majority <laughs> of the chefs are skinny. Like back in the days, you used to have yeah. some fat chefs, you know. And, and, and yeah. that used to be a selling point. Oh, if he's fat, that means he's eating his food and his food is good. Mm-hmm. But now, like, all the chefs are healthier. All of them working out and being muscular and looking like, you know, Vin Diesel. Fine. <laughs> looking fine. You know what I mean? I ain't going to say they're looking fine, but they look like Vin Diesel. Let's say that. You know, because, you know, fine you know, like wine. You know fine. Jamaican, Jamaican people, they, they sometimes, they take things out of context. I'm not one of them yeah. going to be like, oh, why or whatever they say that's what they say why when you say something like that yeah 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 it's so stupid it's stupid to me you support I hate that man I hate that part of the culture you can't even tell your friend you love him because he gonna think about hey why are you gonna tell a man that you love him I tell my friends I love them all the time no business anybody wanna feel a way that's that's your problem but anyway I feel I'm gonna let you know oh man I'm going to let you know definitely so you know let's let's, let's move on over to the uh, the cooking side of you now you know being that you're Mm -hmm. so passionate about your cooking Mm-hmm. What's your cooking style? Um, I like to stick to the technique. Right. I like to stick to the technique. So whatever it is I'm looking about, it could be something as simple as scrambled eggs, you know, low fire, nice with butter, right. you know, slowly, you know, mixing my eggs with the wooden spoon, getting it nice and creamy and fluffy. Yeah, man, I'm all about the techniques. I'm all about the techniques. I'm all about the flavors. I love when my food is flavorful. Like, it has to be flavorful. The fire don't turn off until I'm satisfied with the taste. Mm. Like, it just not turn off. That's it. I know what it is that I want in terms of, you know, the taste. Like, when I'm planning recipes in my mind and I'm, I can hear the flavors in my mind and I can taste it before I even start. And so I know I always know I'm one, though. Right. Whenever, but... I'm definitely about the techniques for sure. Definitely about the flavor, texture, the whole work. Mm. So what's, what, what cuisine you like? Um, I mean, I'm Jamaican. I'm in Jamaica. I like to look about the Jamaican food. I like, I like fun food. So 
Um, not as crazy as some of the things I've seen in IG, like 10 pound of cheese or whatever. <laughs> but, you know, I, I just, I just dabble in a little bit of everything. I dabble in a little bit of everything. I do have a favorite dish. Mm. You know, I, do have, I, don't, I don't have favorite. I have a favorite number, 36. 36? 36. That's random. Yeah, I don't know why. I know, it's just my favorite number, but I don't like favorite colors and favorite dishes and stuff like that. I'm, no, I'm not like you that. You are but different. Different. I'm different. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> you are different. That's that's abnormal. People don't people don't say stuff chef, like that. I'm a cool chef. Yeah, right, I don't right, have right. favorites, man. But I dabble in a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Oh. Peace to TV.